as we're cooking a meal, we want to get everything together time-wise. Right. You're going to start with our friend Lois's yeast roll recipe. The sweet rolls, they are so good. And then we're going to take them like mom used to do. She used to take three little balls mm -hmm. and put them in the muffin pan, right. and then they would grow. They're so, you know what, I'm, you notice I'm making this almost every week? Yes. I know this one by heart because it's such a great recipe. And it's really good. Oh, it's really good. And they're good for you. Yes, and, and it's simple. No calories. It's simple. It's really simple too. Right, how you do it? All right, we're going to start off, and it's actually really simple. I got this all memorized. I am going to take a third of a cup of sugar. All right. Put this in the bowl, and that might sound weird to start. And I'm going to do a whole packet of yeast. All right. And I need a one and a quarter cup of warm water. And so what I think is unique about this is she has the sugar in there with the yeast. So we're going to start mm -hmm. with that. It makes it work. Yes. Now I need half a teaspoon of salt. I know you have salt yeah. over there. One dollar. One dollar. Wow. I need the cash before you put it in there. All righty. Let me dump it. Yeah, thank you. Ooh. And now I have a third cup of oil. That's just vegetable oil. That's pretty much it for the wet. And in her recipe, she says use three cups of flour and then a little extra just to make sure it, it does up good. So I have about three and a half cups. Okay. So usually I just add a little bit in here, mix it as I go. All right, one thing nice about her, this recipe, is you can let it rise. After it rises, put it in the fridge and let it sit until you need it. So I like I, that. Yeah. So you got something to do. Right. Around the farm or you want to go shopping like yes. Nikki likes That's to right. do. And that way for me, if we're having people for dinner, I just make it in the morning and set it aside till we need it. Now how much do you need it? Just a little bit, just to get a ball, she said. So not a whole lot. And that's why I get a little extra flour. And if you think you need more flour, you can add it till you get it to where you want it. And I leave it a little bit sticky. And this looks pretty good. And usually I let it sit on the counter for a couple hours and mm -hmm. rise. And then after it's gotten to where I want it, I just put it in the fridge until we need it. We're gonna let I'm the- I'm digging it. I know it. That's so good. Something about when you're cooking yeast bread in the oven. Yeah, so it's good. really, really good. All right, now that we have this, we're gonna go ahead and let it rise on the counter a couple hours. Then after that, we can throw it in the fridge and then we can use it whenever we good want. Good to go. Yes. I like it. So we're gonna have everything come together at once. How long does it take your yeast rolls to cook? They only cook 15 minutes. But what I've done, I actually let this rise on the counter for probably two hours and it's been in the fridge. So see how it is right now? And it's cool. So it's doughy. It's doughy, but you can sit in the fridge. And I'm going to do what you said your mom used to do. This is this is what she did. Yes. And I loved it because you could split them in threes, and it makes the top grow out. Yeah. Oh, it's good. And we're going to let these sit behind us and grow okay. until they look good. And put, we're going to actually put some butter on them too. So she said. To, now, what temperature and for how long? We're going to put these at 425, and it, I'm going to give it 15, 20 minutes. We're going to kind of watch them. It happens pretty quick. Yeah. To see when they're brown, and I'm going to, like I said, put butter on them. Look at them. Breaks apart in three little pieces. See how perfect that is? That's why mom did. Oh, I remember when we'd get sorghum mm. and butter and put on a roll like this. Those are so good. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I might have more. <laughs>